Hello, I'm Professor Robbie Pott. I'm one of the lecturers in the Department of Process Engineering here at Stellenbosch University, where we teach undergraduate students how to be excellent chemical engineers. So one of the first questions that we have is, what exactly is chemical engineering? So what we do as chemical engineers is take raw materials and convert them into valuable products. So for instance, at the bottom you can see an example where we, an important industry in South Africa is, is mining ore, which then has a small amount of gold. We extract that gold, purify it up, and then you can make it into jewelry or electronic circuits and, and so forth. Um, or another example to, to the right, um, if we take uh, oil or coal and convert that into petroleum and diesel and the things that allow us to drive around. So chemical engineering really relates to the development, the design and understanding large scale processes that convert these raw materials and there can be various things from ore and coal um, to bio, uh, bio sources and, and other things into valuable products. What is exactly the difference between a chemist versus a chemical engineer? Well a chemist for the most part is focused on small-scale experiments trying to understand the fundamental chemistry. And of course chemical engineers need to know how that works, but we are much more applied in nature. We emphasize mathematics, larger-scale processing, uh, modeling des and design of processes, rather than these uh, smaller experiments. So we will take the knowledge that chemists generate and then convert that into large-scale processes which, which take an idea and uh, make an industry out of it. So we make um, useful products uh, at larger scales. In terms of the undergraduate engineering curriculum, we have a really strong program to train you up to be an excellent engineer. It looks something like this, and I know that there's a lot of detail on here, so don't worry too much about it. But some of the key ideas are that we are what we call ex-accredited, so the Engineering Council of South Africa accredits our four-year degree, and that allows uh, our graduates to register as professional engineers once they graduate. Um, the in, uh, the EXA accreditation is also aligned with the Washington Accord, which means that our graduates can work overseas uh, in any Washington Accord um, signatory country, places like America, Australia, um, the UK, Europe, South America. Most countries are signed up to this. So our degree is internationally recognized. You'll see that in the first year, we have a, a, a common first year between all the engineering um, uh, departments and there's a focus on mathematical and natural sciences and some complementary studies in the first year. As we go through the years we shift more to engineering sciences and applied sciences so that you become more focused on how to apply the natural sciences that you learn in the first years um, to, to real engineering problems. Information about the language policy, admission requirements and so forth are also available on our faculty website. Uh, and will be discussed in, in later presentations as well. All right. Some specific questions that we often get asked is for technical drawings, which is, you'll see one of the courses that we have in the first year. There's no prior requirement for that. So we will take uh, um, matric students and, and train them up uh, in all the skills that they need to be good engineers. As chemical engineers, we do have one of the highest entry requirements to get into at Stellenbosch University. Um, this is because the course is tricky but also uh, very lucratively paid at the end. So there's a high demand for chemical engineers. In terms of our facilities, we are very lucky to have uh, a unique set of pilot scale facilities in our department uh, here at Stellenbosch. Much of the equipment is best in class and world, um, world class. Uh, we have a fully equipped workshop which allows us to create new equipment and once you come and join us, you'll be working alongside prestigious researchers um, in various fields who will then you'll be exposed to and you can see, see what kind of cutting edge research is done in the department. We also have modern lecturing facilities and state of the art undergraduate laboratory so we can do experimentation appropriate for an undergrad uh, course. In your final year, you will also um, be given a, a, a more complete um, uh, research uh, project to do, and then you'll have the opportunity to really delve into the, the um, laboratories that we have and, and make use of the, um, the facilities. So where do chemical engineers go once they graduated? 
we have many career opportunities, both in South Africa and, and, and internationally. As I mentioned, we are uh, Washington Accord accredited, so um, our graduates go all over the world, um, both for postgraduate degrees as well as uh, really lucrative opportunities. The kind of places that we go in South Africa in particular include biotechnology, for instance, the growing vaccine development um, uh, industry here in the Cape, food and beverages, fertilizers, water purification. We have uh, quite a number of our, our graduates work at um, uh, water-based technology firms, uh, pharmaceuticals, cosmetics, renewable energy, which is a growing space, petrochemical, which is a very traditional chemical engineering field, um, Quite a lot of our graduates go and work at Sassel, uh, at Secunda. Um, mining and metallurgy, we have a really strong mining and metallurgy research group in our department, um, so there's strong links to industry there. Nanotechnology is, is increasing in scale uh, and, and, other, and other places. This is obviously not an exclusive list or an exhaustive list. Our graduates are very well regarded in the industry and are in demand. Chemical engineers are also sought after in industries somewhat out of the traditional uh, chemical engineering discipline, such as data science, financial institutions, uh, and other places. This is because the training that we put you through uh, really develops your creativity, it demonstrates good worth e work ethics, um, and we have excellent analytical and problem-solving skills, which are then applicable in a variety of spaces. Um, we also do a lot of work with people in terms of management, management consultancy, and many of the skills that we, we focus on are transferable. And our analytical problem-solving skills, these are all sought-after uh, skills in the graduate market. The real question is, how are chemical engineers going to make a difference in the world in the future? And what is our role in the future? we can have a really outsized impact on the development of clean and renewable um, processes. We are the ones who develop these processes and, and roll them out into industry. So there's a really strong focus in chemical engineering on sustainability and the development of new industrial processes um, so that we can create green solutions to, for the future. Uh, the undergraduate course that we provide will give you the tools that will allow you to make a difference in this space. We have a significant amount of uh, research in the, the department and at the postgraduate level on sustainability. We develop processes which produce products in a more sustainable, environmentally friend friendly manner, and we utilize the natural resources of the country, um, or we try to understand how to utilize those resources most appropriately. We have a strong research thrust in the valorization of waste materials, so much of what currently just gets thrown away still has intrinsic value. For instance, there's a really strong uh, research project on the recovery of valuable materials from waste electronics. Um, so there's cutting-edge research happening within our department in these, in these spaces. There is a lot of innovation that happens in the department, particularly at a postgraduate level. Um, and here are some examples of the, of the places that we are doing research in. For instance, alternative food sources and agricultural intensification. For instance, using um, insect larvae as protein feedstock for agriculture. In renewable energy, we have a really large research group looking at using biological materials, things like um, the waste products that come off of sugarcane refining or um, waste wood products or invasive alien species uh, growing in South Africa, can we convert those into, into renewable energy? We're looking at methods for creating green chemicals um, using different processes to what's been uh, traditionally done. We're using novel materials such as biodegradable plastics and, and recyclable batteries. And underpinning much of this, we're using data science for process optimization. In terms of society, chemical engineers play a significant role in understanding and addressing these critical problems. We provide food, water, and energy for the continuously growing population, and we require new methods and approaches to deal with this. It's the ability of chemical engineers to find innovative solutions that make a very concrete and direct contribution to the sustainability and the welfare of the planet, and particularly in South Africa. Um, so chemical engineers have an exciting and re rewarding career available to them in this space. We have a lot of research 
on, for instance, access to potable water. So there's a, a research group that investigates using membranes to, to provide really cheap, scalable, potable water for, for rural areas. Um, and we're trying to understand the environmental impacts of, of all the processes that, that we undertake using, for instance, life cycle assessment methodologies. The department has six research focus areas, and these align very well with the future challenges that are faced by humanity. And they aim to equip our graduates with the knowledge and skills required to make significant contributions in whichever industry they choose to pursue a career in. We have uh, the Bioprocess Engineering Research Group, which uses biological materials and uh, biological agents to, to make interesting and valuable products. We have ex the Extractive Metallurgy Group, which tries to, for instance, recover valuable materials from um, waste electronics. We have the Separation Technology Research Group, which understands how we can purify materials, um, such as petrochemicals or other things as well. There's a strong thrust in waste valorization, taking in um, the, the waste materials from other industries and creating value from it. Water technology is, is a, a big research group as well, where we are looking at using membranes um, and, and other technologies to provide clean water or to uh, treat waste waters. And then a growing research group is the machine learning group, which applies the principles of, of um, machine learning to understand how best to do these processes. If you have any questions, you are welcome to contact us. Um, if you need any support, we have Lazanda in particular is available to, to chat with. Um, we look forward to engaging with you and we really look forward to seeing you in the new year. Thank you very much for your time and attention. I look forward to seeing our new undergraduate students in the new year and I hope that Stellenbosch University will be a rewarding experience for you all.